Hello everyone and welcome again to another edition of Natty's Nook. If you are new today, thank you so much for popping by. Um, just send me a quick email when you get the chance at natty at nattysnook.com. That email is going to be on a later slide in um, my video, so just stay tuned and watch for it. All I'll do is just send you a little bit of information about what we're all about here and kind of the premise of what this channel really is meant for. Um, you can also go back and watch all my previous reviews and you kind of get an idea of what I talk about and um, what I really post and what these videos really explain and tell you. Um, my first video um, should explain a little bit about what I'm about, but um, feel free to email me as well. I'm not a stranger. I'm not a monster. I will totally answer any questions that you have. So. Um, for all of you oldies out there that have stayed with me since review one, thanks for coming back. And let's jump into another great book, Inside the Nook. Okay, so before we begin today's review, I did want to give you a few updates on the Nook front. The first is that I had my first anniversary a couple weeks ago, so yay! Um, a year ago, on August 4th, uh, 2019, that was my first ever review. Um, I posted on Between Shades of Grey, um, a really good classic book that I've grown to love. I've only read it once, but it's a read that I'll never forget, so um, that's always great. But um, I did have this really cool live stream, um, and that's, um, that's where I kind of explained some new updates about the Nook and what's going to be happening in the next few months that might be a little bit different than what you all are used to seeing from me. So the first thing is that I now have an Instagram page. Woohoo! I got out of the stone age. I crawled out of my rock from the mountain and now I have an Instagram page. So go and give it a follow. It's it's um, at n-a-t-t-i-e-s dot n-o-o-k and natty's dot nook um, and base, I know it's super generic. Anyways, <laughs> Um, that's going to be your updates, your previews for the monthly reviews, some creative content. DM me if you want that because teenagers like to procrastinate and I might not get that out till really late. So DM me if you want to see that because if so enough people bug me, I will move faster and yeah. So DM me if you want to see more creative content on the Nook. Um, the third thing is that my videos are going to look a little bit different in the coming months. Um, so, um, a little bit of explaining on my part to do, this video is actually made from a PowerPoint template, so you're probably thinking, well that's easy, just make me a slideshow. It's actually not. You have to like build a template, you have to make sure that your animations are correct. It wasn't the easiest process to get it straight with you guys, but I am going to start changing it up a little bit, um, start pulling some new skills out of the box, maybe um, using a really professional editing software. If you're familiar, it's going to be either Final Cut Pro or it's going to be Adobe Premiere. Um, that's going to give me an opportunity to really get some cool special effects and um, get some new like, I don't know, speech bubble up to my, like right up to my head or something. Um, it could be really cool. Um, so I'm going to be working with that in the few upcoming months, so be on the lookout. So enough talking about announcements, let's get into the book because that's obviously why you're here. Um, I really hope that you take my thoughts and feedback on this book into consideration um, because today's book is called um, Lightfoot 12 by Susan Hood. Um, so with that being said, um, let me give you a brief overview. One, this book has a um, 4.3 star rating on Goodreads. It's a true story. It's junior fiction and I'll get a little bit more into that later on. And it's got an interesting plot line, let's just put it that way. So the main character of this book, um, his name is Ken. He goes by Ken. His full name is Kenneth Sparks, and he lives in London with his father, mother, or step, yeah, father, stepmother, and half sister Margaret. They live in this. They live in a time period uh, around 1940, which is in the Second World War. So you get to see some really cool Nazi attack scenes within the first few pages of the novel. The premise of this book is really about Ken's acceptance letter um, to sail aboard the SS City of Bonaires. Now, this ship is designed to take kids five through fifteen that make a certain or meet a certain criteria, and to try and get them away from the war. So basically, Ken is leaving at the age of thirteen years old 
he's leaving his home country of the United Kingdom and he's going to Canada with a country he's never been to to basically just start a new life. So you can imagine he's kind of mixed feelings. Um, he's not sure if he wants to be excited for the new venture because he's getting away from war or he wants to just like miss home a lot. So there's, you definitely see that both sides of that equation in the book, especially in the beginning. Um, but he's pretty quickly won over when he gets aboard the boat and he sees this luxurious like nine course meals, his spacious living quarters. And there's a lot of cool fine features of this book like, or this, this boat um, that's like a cool like playroom with new toys and stuff. And during the war, you really can't get new toys and you have the decks to run about, other kids to play with and a lot of cool things to do aboard this boat. So he's enjoying life on the boat and 13 year old Ken is, he's sorry when a freaking Nazi torpedo hits the boat and he is forced to board a lifeboat. And basically the main question is, will he survive or will the waves take him under? So enough about the synopsis, otherwise I would really spoil the book for you and that would defeat the whole purpose of this review. But um, let me give you my brief overview. This book, I did like the fact that it was a true story. The authenticity that this author, Susan Hood, was able to explain and display in this book was beyond amazing. Um, I really liked reading something real for once and not just all fantasy and fiction. Um, the thing I didn't like about this book is that it's written in verse. It's not just like you're straight on the page words, paragraphs, kind of that thing. It's in verse and it's not your typical chapter style book either so i didn't love that but that's a personal preference so that's nothing against like that's nothing against being in verse but it's just like not kind of my thing it's not my taste um this is a good book but i think it could be a little bit mature and a little bit like sketchy to to let just like a 10 year old read so if you are in that junior fiction category i would suggest a parent or an older sibling read this book first or kind of like look into it before you start reading it just to make sure you can handle it just because the content um, can be a little bit harsh. Um, I said this before in a review, uh, Making Bombs for Hitler, which is review 22. Um, you can go check that book out if you want to. Um, I really encourage you to at least watch the review that I did on it because it's pretty accurate. But in any sense of things, just be careful um, because this book does have some really sad and gross scenes in it. Um, so just kind of keep some steady eyes on it. Um, and um, with that being said, I give it a five star rating. Um, so you're probably wondering, basically you told me that the book you didn't like because it was in verse, you thought it had an interesting plot line, and you're basically advising junior fiction kids to like stay away from it unless you really know that you can handle this book. So why are you giving it the full set of stars? Here's why. because. For the past couple weeks, this is on me, that I've been telling you that it's a four star book because I don't like it. But this book is really written well. Like, it's a well written novel. Like, like, the author does a nice job of explaining the event, especially since it's a true story. She doesn't make it sound like fantasy or like unrealistic. It's really an interesting depiction, but it's just not my style of book. Um, and I forgot to add this before, but it's not your like like you're on edge of the seat like you would think it is because like it's kind of like the titanic in a way where the the ship sinks and everyone races for their life well it's really not that much of a page turner because like it's i don't know it's just most of the book is really focused on the survival after the torpedo hits um so the content after there kind of goes downhill um but in any event it is a good book and the content is really good it's just not my taste. So it's a five-star novel, but it's just not a book that I would recommend for like an edge of your seat thriller type of a novel. That being said, it's for more of a subtle or chill reader. So if you're looking for something that calms you down after that heart racing thriller suspense book that just had an insanely good murder mystery and you want something subtle and chill, you should pick up this book and read it because I think you will be pleasantly surprised. So I hope that this helps you in your quest to find a good novel. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of this review. I'm so open for feedback and suggestions. And also let me know what type of books you want to see next month. This isn't just about me reviewing my favorite books and my least favorite books. If you've got a good book, which I'm sure you do, type it in the comments and just hit send. Like, you won't regret it, I promise. Um, 
So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching it, and um, happy reading! Okay, readers, that's it for this month's review. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Newcomers, stay tuned a little bit longer just to see that new, like that those pages that I have displayed in the last couple seconds of the video. That's gonna show my email, kind of about who I am. Special thanks to some people who've, who've really helped me grow this channel. So if you're new, stick out for those. Um, to my old friends who probably don't want to see the same information twice, um, thank you for sticking with me for another review. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, please let me know, hit like on every video that you thought was helpful or if you thought was good or you want to try, and fill up the comment section with some cool like, ooh, I love this review, or it wasn't my favorite, but here's, but here's something that I could take away from it, um, and also send me your questions. Um, remember to hit follow on that Instagram account of mine, and I'll see you next month. Thanks for watching.